Man, my life has changed so much in this last year. And you could literally view my fucking journey. You could see where I started a year ago. Go watch my oldest YouTube videos and you could see where I've come from. And that's a big part of my channel is just documenting where I came from and every step of the journey. I'm not looking back on this with a rear with a rear view mirror. I'm looking at this and I'm documenting every step. And I really think that's what makes my channel unique in comparison to a lot of other people's channels. So I wanted to give my advice and based on what I've been doing, my advice to my younger self and to other young men in terms of what you should do with your life because so many of us out here are just straight up fucking lost. We are lost. So I wanna give my journey. And first I wanna talk about what I've done in this last year. So a year ago, I was in a tough position in my life. I'm working a job I hated. I'm getting taken advantage of at that job. I'm getting screwed over for my fucking dollars. And I'm not one to have a victim mentality because at the end of the day, it was my choice to be in that position. And that's something you gotta recognize as a man. You're over 21, you're a fucking man. You are where you are now because of yourself and not anybody else. And it's time for you to start taking control of your goddamn life, bitch. Start taking control of your goddamn life. But I was in this shitty ass job that was sucking my fucking soul. Man, I fucking hated my higher ups. I wanted to, man, there was one dude who I wanted to fucking sucker punch in the face every day. It was horrible, guys. My, I was falling out with my friends. They weren't respecting me, you know, going out and <clears throat> I'm getting left behind. I, I, I'm getting, I'm getting shit faced. I'm losing everything. I'm losing my fucking money. Um, uh, you know, getting lost, you know, my, my fucking getting deserted. I, I'll end up at like 3 a.m. at some random bar, like where the fuck did all my friends go? And that was pretty much every weekend, right? And up until that point, I'm at this point, I'm coming out of college, right? And I don't know what the fuck I wanna do with my life. So I take the first fucking job I could take. In college, you know, completely lost once again. Mental health, absolutely horrible. Taking a shit ton of fucking drugs. Um, depressed as fuck. Anxious as fuck. Uh, no guidance no friends and I'm just trying to like, I'm getting out of college and I'm trying to really find myself, find my bearings as a man and figure out what the fuck is going on. And I feel like this last year has been such a critical point in my life. In this last year, I've discovered what the fuck it means to be a man. I've discovered what the fuck it means to find your purpose and become the highest version of yourself to become you know, God-like. Not saying I'm God, I'm far from perfect, but to find that fucking sense of a higher up within you. And I left my job uh, at a point where I was asking friends for money, asking for loans. Um, I was living off of, you know, the bare, the bare minimum and selling off belongings in order to scrape by, decided to become a personal trainer, and I never fucking looked back. I decided to start my YouTube, and I never looked back. My content fucking sucked. I was filming off a shitty broken ass iPhone, um, a shitty broken ass laptop, and throughout the time, I've just leveled up and leveled up, and my progression is becoming apparent to the whole world now. I'm broadcasting my progression and what is possible. And I'm far from the promised land, but I'm taking steps every day in the right direction. And now my YouTube is at 1.7. I'm about to move at the end of the month to fucking Austin, Texas. I'm taking my beater truck down there and I'm putting my the, the whole life of myself in the bed of that trunk and I'm driving down there from Chicago. And 
I've really just changed myself completely, spiritually, mentally, physically. I could put up some pictures of what I've done to my physique. Yeah, I was in good shape before, but now I'm in the best shape of my life. Now I'm really capitalizing on my strengths. Now I'm really finding my true purpose and getting my bearings. And mentally what that's done for me is created a purpose, created a sense of manhood and masculinity. So I wanna give my advice to young men. This is my advice. Um, number one, figure out what the fuck you want. What do you really want in this world? Because for me, I was going down the path of working a job that I didn't like, that was sucking the soul out of me, emasculating me, and destroying my self-esteem and self-worth. Is that what you want? Do you wanna be somebody's bitch? Do you wanna feel like you can't tell that dickhead above you? You wanna tell him to shut the fuck up, but you can't every single day? And you wanna work your way up? Do you wanna do that? Do you wanna pretend like you're friends with him and, you're, and you're, uh, you're, you pretend you're friends with your superiors, but in all actuality, if you saw him out in the street, you would pour a fucking hot cup of coffee in their face? Is that what you wanna feel every day? Do you wanna feel like you're stuck in a cage? Some of you, maybe you do. Some of you, maybe you wanna take the comfortable route. But for a lot of us, that is not the case. That is not what we want. Do you wanna work five days a week, 40 hours, and on the weekends have to blow out all your steam over fucking drinks and go out to the club and chase ass? Is that what you wanna do? You wanna blow half your paycheck every weekend? If not, you need to start figuring out what the fuck you want in life. Do you wanna have a purpose? Do you wanna have a sense of purpose? Do you wanna be single? Do you wanna be married? And you're not gonna find all the answers at once, but you really gotta start looking. And for me, I found it by having my back against the wall where I had no choice. I had to make a decision. And I feel I made the right decision. But you need to figure out what the fuck you want and understand your true nature. A lot of us guys, we just, you know, we want pussy, we want money, we want financial freedom. There's nothing wrong with wanting those three things. But you gotta be honest with yourself and not say, I'm gonna go to this job because this is what my parents want, but I'm gonna disguise it to everybody like this is what I want. So figure out what the fuck you want and separate yourself from the pack. When you decide what you really want for a lot of you, that's not gonna be what everybody else wants. That's, that's gonna require you to make sacrifices with your time, with your friendships, the people you spend your time around. For me, I had to cut all my fucking friends off. I had to cut all my friends off. I didn't have the time for them. And even if I did, I didn't wanna spend time with them because they weren't respecting me. They weren't treating me to the standard of what I wanted to be treated as. And you could say that's egotistical, or you could say that's understanding your value and betting on yourself. And that's what I feel like that is. But doing that, figuring out what you want and going after it is gonna require you to separate yourself from the pack. It is gonna require you to become alpha. That is what alpha means. Alpha means being a leader, taking your own route. Not being a follower, not letting anybody or anything else control you. And it, 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 if as men, we want women, right? And the social media dating game, social media has fucked everything up nowadays, guys. You gotta be different. If you really wanna be this high value man, if you really wanna be enjoying life to the fullest, you're looking at all these other people on social media doing well, you're not gonna do that taking the average route. You're gonna have to take some risks. You're gonna have to bet on yourself, set higher standards. Go monk mode. That's what I've done for this last year. That's what I'm gonna be doing more or less when I'm in Texas. 
Monk mode. What is monk mode? Complete focus. I'm not focused on getting women. I'm not focused on taking trips. I'm not focused on going out and partying. I don't need that shit anymore. And I can't have it now if I'm trying to do what I'm doing now, which is building my own business, which is being a content creator. I have to go monk mode. I can't half-ass this and expect to get to the top. Go monk mode. What that's also going to allow you to do is when you cut everybody and all the bullshit off, is you are going to allow yourself to be alone. You are going to teach yourself how to be alone and how to find happiness within yourself. And that's when you really find your true purpose. When you are fucking alone, how can you be alpha if you can't even stand being alone? When you become alpha, when you when you go monk mode, you discover what your true purpose is, you discover true happiness within yourself, you discover what your highest self is or could be, and you heal yourself from all the trauma that you've experienced early in your life, whether that's your friends doing you wrong, whether that's some fucked up shit happened to you as a kid, whether that's your parents doing you wrong, whether that's a woman doing you wrong, you allow yourself that alone time that the majority of men never fucking have. The majority of men never take that time to develop themselves in the fucking trenches like Batman. How do you think Batman became so fucking cold? Alone. He was alone in the fucking cave training. That's such a valuable story because it teaches us what we need to do. That's how you really become a man, is healing yourself from that trauma. How can you become the highest version of yourself if you're still hanging on to all this shit that's limiting your mindset? That brings me to my next point. Move out of your fucking parents' crib. I had to do this. I, 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 didn't, I wasn't getting along with my parents. I never did. When I got out of college, I knew I wanted to get out as quick as possible. They set a deadline date. You gotta be out by this date. You gotta be out three months. So I said, I'm gonna fucking make it happen. And I wanted to make it happen. I didn't wanna be living with them. Because when you live with your parents, it's just like being in a job. You are always going to be a subordinate. You are always going to be under their control. And you are never going to learn how to be self-reliant. Now, don't just move out of your fucking parents' house if you don't have a fucking plan. Or if you don't have some sort of confidence in yourself. Don't just do it just because I said so. Figure out the right time to do it. But do it as quick as you fucking can. And the perfect time may come never. So you might just have to take that leap. And I know a lot of guys who are too afraid to take that leap right now. But if you want to become self-reliant, you want to become a man, you got to move out of your parents' crib. Move out of your fucking hometown. That's what the fuck I'm doing. I've spent my last 10 fucking years. I, 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 I've spent my whole life in Chicago, aside from my college years where I was still in Illinois. But even then, during the summers, I'm in Chicago. Everything I know is Chicago. I see everybody doing the same shit. I see the people from my neighborhood. I see the same fucking friends. I never see anybody doing some different shit. I'm trying to do something completely different. I'm not trying to put myself above other people and say what I'm doing is better. I'm just saying it's different. And if you want to do something that's different, if you really understand what you want and it's different, like you want to start your own YouTube, you want to start your own business. You can't expect to do that in a shitty environment. Because why do you think people from the same neighborhood, from the same area, all talk the same, all dress the same, all have similar values? Because that's all they know. How do you expect to break all these limiting beliefs, break all this trauma 
and rise above if you are on the same wavelength as everybody else. You need to experience new things. That's gonna require getting uncomfortable. That's gonna require going month mode. That's gonna require getting out of your fucking hometown. I've never lived in another state. Shit, I barely even been on any fucking trips anywhere. I need to get that change of environment. Start a business. A lot of us wanna be self-employed. Start a fucking business. Learn, actually develop yourself. Learn the fucking necessary traits. Read books, hire mentors. I hired a fucking mentor to help me build my coaching business. It was a huge investment. I'm still paying it off now. But that's what it takes. It takes being different. You can't be the same. You gotta take those risks. Hire a fucking mentor. Pay the fucking price. That means sacrifice. That means not going out and getting drinks on the weekend. That means cutting those friends off. Cut out all your fucking bad habits. Cut out the smoking, cut out the drinking. None of that shit is doing anything for you. Yeah, it might be a little stress relief, but that shit is holding you back. How do you expect to wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow to get to the gym, do cardio, cook your meals, to work on your business, to make phone calls, to talk to other people and try and get them to buy your services. How do you expect to be your absolute sharpest when you're smoking and you're drinking? The next day you gotta recover. I don't give a fuck if, if, if you can't work while you're hungover, you are not gonna be in your best mental shape. And I notice when I drink, that carries on then for several days. I feel like set back. Every single day counts, guys. Every single day counts. Cut out all the fucking bad habits. Get in the best fucking shape of your life, not some half-assed shape. Focus on your fitness. Focus on becoming the coldest fucking physique you could accomplish. Because it gives you a lens for understanding the world. When you start prioritizing yourself and when you start focusing on your fitness, you realize that there's all these other aspects that go into it, like your nutrition. It's not just working out, it's your nutrition, it's your sleep, it's your water intake, it's managing stress levels. And all those skills that you develop doing that are gonna help you build your business, are gonna help you improve your mental health. Fitness is where it starts. Recognize the harm in the world around you. Recognize what's really going on. The majority of people are living disillusioned. The majority of people, the majority of guys are gonna wake up one day at 45 years old and they're gonna be married with kids and be fucking miserable because they fell into this societal trap. They fell into this lie and now they're stuck with a wife who they don't wanna be with anymore, who's not sexually attracted to them because they let their physique go, who doesn't see that edge in them because they got complacent. And now you're dying a slow death. Now your dick doesn't work. Now your mind is not sharp. You lost that drive to yourself. You lost that alpha to yourself. That's the most powerful thing you have as a man, is that fucking mindset. And the majority of men today do not have that. Prioritize yourself above all things. Because the world is gonna try and put, push you down, pull you down, your neighborhood, your parents, everything is gonna try and pull you down. You gotta separate yourself from that shit and you gotta put yourself above all that shit. And then if you want to, you could circle back later. But now you are the prize, my guy. Prioritize yourself 
And last but not least, have a sense of urgency. I've had my back against the wall. I didn't have a choice. Now I'm at the same point again. Yeah, I stacked up money as a personal trainer, but now I left that job. Now I'm going all in on my business and my money is looking a little funny right now. I'm getting nervous. So I gotta have a sense of urgency. But that's cool because that sense of urgency, that stress in my daily life is gonna drive me to go so much harder. That sense of urgency is gonna prevent me from becoming complacent. That sense of urgency is gonna allow me to do greater things than the majority of people do. The majority of guys don't have this sense of urgency. They don't believe they need to start taking care of their fitness until they're 35, 40 years old, and then it's too late. They don't think they gotta start develop the, developing themselves until life fucking smacks them in the face and they can't recover from it. The majority of guys don't just will never understand. They will never have that sense of urgency. You can't wait. I don't give a fuck how you're 18, you're 17 watching this video. Figure out what the fuck you want right now. That's it, guys. Follow these fucking steps. This is, this is a new world we're living in. You could make money doing whatever the fuck you want, but you gotta be willing to make the sacrifices. You gotta be willing to separate yourself and you gotta deal with all the mental turmoil that comes along with that. But that's really is what's gonna shape you into a man in today's world. Not doing the same shit as everybody else. Not following orders. We could talk about how manly that is to show up to a nine to five every day. I don't give a fuck. You wanna become a real man? You gotta separate yourself. You gotta become self-reliant. And you can't rely on a job. You can't rely on anybody or anything. 